Kumbawa. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to give it another spin here for Need for Speed Heat, no pun intended. Um, hope everybody had a wonderful day. Let's just hope you know, there's no more technical difficulties. Let's get to it. Sorry I'm not a little earlier. I had some things pop up on my way home. Got held up quite a bit. really stunk last night because I was actually doing pretty good in that race. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I was second place. And then <clears throat> the problems with my hard drive started. My PlayStation 4 is a bit finicky. I really have to have everything set up a certain way and in a certain order. You guys are seeing a big part of why I'm not very keen on the the 8th generation if I'm not mistaken here, 8th and 9th generation game consoles. I, I prefer the ones that are either 7th or older, because you don't have all these issues with having to take 3 hours just to set up your game, you know? <laughs> you don't have all the technical difficulties. Yeah, the graphics may be a bit better. And you have, you know, certain games that you can only play on 8th and 9th generation consoles, such as a big one for me was Final Fantasy VII Remake, but, you know, you have to go through so much baloney just to simply sit and play your game, and I, I just, no. You know, I, I should not have to go through being a troubleshooting support tech to simply play a video game. <laughs> Thanks, pal. You may want to watch where you're going, huh? Oh wow. Alright. Here we go. <clears throat> like I brought up before, I've always been a big need for speed fan.
I've been into the Need for Speed games since 1999. <clears throat> Actually, so for a very long time, I have really been into these games. So I was second last night. Okay, I was correct. Alright, so third place. That's not bad. <clears throat> I was holding second pretty convincingly there for a bit. So, that's good. I'll take it. Okay. Let's continue. I'm actually going to try that race again. Can I do that race again, or is it gone? That's my question here. So, okay, that's one thing that kind of... That's one thing that I don't like about this game here, Need for Speed Heat versus uh, Forza. Forza, you can always repeat races immediately. Apparently, unless I'm totally missing something, and it doesn't look like I am. No, it doesn't look like I'm really missing anything. Where am I? I'm going to set route right here and just see what happens. No? Okay. So, alright. No. Okay. 
that wasn't my imagination. You really can't do that. Alright. So let's set the route. And go check this out. By the way, now that I've gotten a feel for Need for Speed Heat, it does play quite a bit different than Forza. Not totally different, but there's differences. For starters, you drift in this game. You do not drift in Forza. <clears throat> and as I said, uh, Need for Speed Heat is more of a street racing game versus the sportsman-like way that you race in Forza 4. Oh, okay, so this is not a race of any sort. I'm getting upgrades for my car. Okay. Fine and good. Beating that door down, isn't he? Jeez. Oh, she's cute. I like her hair. Okay, so just a brief 
low down there for any people who can't hear. Um, I need to run to the potty, so I'm going to throw this on pause, take a brief commercial break. Or not a commercial break, but a, uh, a brief break. My bad. everybody I appreciate your patience thank you very much let's hop to it now am I able yes so I can go back and repeat my race great and my car Taking a look here. Um, okay, so let's just go back and do this. I have been into racing games ever since I saw that game in the arcade called Outrun. And then I got Daytona USA on the Sega Saturn when I was 15. I really like it. It's still one of my favorite racing games. Then I played uh, Formula One on uh, PlayStation 1. I really liked it. Then I played... Um, NASCAR 2001 on PlayStation 2. Then, um... I'm 
trying to think if there was one before Sega Saturn. I, I liked that one game. It's for... Um, it's for the Super Nintendo um, Off-Road. I can't remember the name of that one. Um, Off-Road Racing. It had trucks. had a really good guitar rift. For the opening, um, for the opening title screen, something that was very impressive for Super Nintendo, by the way. Um, yeah, those were my early favorite racing games. But what really got me into it was Outrun, and then um, there was a couple other ones I liked, and then Daytona USA really did it for me. So boom! Ever since then, I've been a big race racing game fan, and. Then I was introduced to Need for Speed by my nephew Dave. Thank you, Dave, for uh, introducing me to a game series that would go on to become one of my all-time favorites. Still playing it to this very day. Oh, jeez. I tried some different things with the buttons, and wow, that certainly didn't work. With racing games, I find I do so much better if I just experiment, you know, and just figure out what's going to work, what isn't, you know, but unfortunately when you do that, <laughs> you're going to wind up losing a few times as a result. Definitely this case is no exception. Wow. So third again. I'm going to do it again, because I think, honestly, I, I could do better. I just get the feeling I, I, I'm not hitting my full potential yet. 
Well, I mean, obviously I'm not, but I'm just saying I, I think I could, even right at the moment, do better. Oh, by the way, I love Mustangs, so I am very stoked to be driving one at the moment. It's one of my favorite cars ever. If I can be completely honest with everybody, I'm not a huge car fanatic. Um, ah, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna have to really concentrate a lot here. So, pardon my silence, I will talk when I'm done. I'm not a big car enthusiast, you know. I look at cars as more of a tool than anything else. But, you know, I figure if we have to have them, then have a cool one. So, if that makes sense. So, I'm a car enthusiast, yet I'm not. It's kind of a weird catch-22. I guess my philosophy with cars is really no different than it is with money. I'm not a big money person. You know, it's not something that I really feel that I need to have a lot of. I look at money as more of a tool than I do anything else, if that makes sense. That's better.
Okay. So I'm going to do it again. Because I think I'm learning a couple things here that are going to help me at least get second. So far, so good. Let's see if I can maintain it. Okay, here we go. I can do that again. All right, nice. Okay, I'm sorry for redoing that race so many times. I mean, I don't mind redoing the same race repeatedly, but other people might get bored seeing me do that. So my apologies, but I had some stuff I was figuring out that I wanted to try out just to see if it would work. And lo and behold, there it was. So I'm going to park over here so nobody slams into me.
Okay, guys, I hate to do this, but, um, you know, I got a late start tonight, and I'm looking at the time, so I got an early day tomorrow, um, I'm thinking I should go ahead and cut it off right now, my apologies, um, by all means, I, I don't have much to do when I get off work tomorrow, so I should be able to come home and pick this up, I definitely want to continue playing Need for Speed Heat, and I definitely want to bust out the, um, the Japanese version of Mario 2 so um, you know I, I don't want to keep playing and the next thing you know it'll be getting later and later so I don't want to open that can per se so to speak so um, I, I apologize for you know this being a, a bit of a shorter broadcast than usual but um, I want to thank everybody who joined me I really appreciate your patronage if you could hit me with a follow um, that would be great um, twitch is awesome they don't spam you to death um, and if you want to, you can get notices as to when I go live on your um, phone, or you can get it on your computer via email alerts. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure they have some kind of a widget you can put on your computer as well. So, yeah, you can know when I'm going live. Um, or you can check my Instagram. Uh, keep in mind, please, Instagram is the only social media that I do. Um, Having more than one social media account was just too much, too much to keep track of, too much to deal with, so I narrowed it down to Instagram, so if you follow my Instagram, which is um, the guy with the dragon tattoo 81, you can um, see when I'm going live, and again, that's the guy with the dragon tattoo 81, um, you can also um, comment on my post and tell me different game suggestions you would like to see me play, that would be awesome. So, um, at any rate, uh, thank you so much, and um, I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Domodegato gozaimasu, sayonara.